Hi guys, welcome to Empower and thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this Motivation Monday, I'm going to talk about how to stay motivated. There are a few things that I do that I think are key that help me stay like driven and positive and motivated. And some of these are things that I see other people do and some of these are just what I personally do. But the first thing that I do is I create a vision that inspires me. So Tony Robbins, he, um, I went to one of his seminars and he started talking about how you want to create a vision that's going to pull you instead of you feeling like you're pushing all the time. And so when you have a vision that is so amazing and inspiring, getting up early and staying up late to complete this vision is easy because it's like this energy is like pulling you. So to have a vision that energizes you is key. The other thing that I do is I try to, you know, if I'm feeling like overwhelmed or like things may never happen or something will never come true, I try to find sort of like rags to riches stories, um, stories of people that have overcome impossible um, things, impossible odds, and they overcame and they're successful or they accomplished their dream or goal. Listening to other people's success stories helps me believe in myself. So we're all human beings, we all have problems, and usually the problems that I read are are way worse than the problems that I'm facing. So that's another thing that I do to help myself stay positive and motivated. The other thing that I do is I try to get rid of like my envision timeline. Um, a long time ago, I used to do this, like say, this has to happen by this time. And then when it didn't happen by that time, I would get super depressed. And now I sort of just say, I would like it to happen by this time, but if it's later, then that's fine. Um, but in that way, it helps me be like more relaxed about the goals that I'm trying to pursue and it helps me stay motivated because I'm not getting stressed out if that timeline is approaching especially. <laughs> so that that helps me out a lot. Another thing that I do is I try to take the focus off of myself. You know sometimes I'm not gonna lie it is hard to get out here and make videos because it's a lot of work you know. I have to get everything together, I have to edit the video, I have to make sure the audio, the camera, everything's working. But you know if I were to think about it for myself I would never do it. But knowing that there are people every week that want to hear positive uplifting messages gives me the energy to keep going. So focusing on a purpose beyond yourself is so energizing and it'll really help you stay motivated. Another tip for staying motivated is making sure you are not sucking the energy out of other people. And what I mean by that is if you're really kind to other people, you will get their energy back. Um, if you're trying to be short with people or if you're trying to short hand people or if you're trying to do other things when you're with other people. Just to give you an example, like at certain times during my business career, when I was at work, I would be stressed out about my business. And when I was at business, I would be stressed out about work. So I was never really fully in either place. I remember being with patients and thinking about videos that needed to be edited or emails that I needed to write. And I wasn't treating my patients with the full presence that they deserve. And it sort of sucked energy out of me. When I stopped you know doing that when I recognized it I said no I need to treat everyone with the utmost respect and kindness it gave me energy because I was in communication with my patients and we were going back and forth and you know so it's it's really like an energy thing when you treat other people with the kindness that they deserve to be treated with the final tip that I'm going to give on how to stay motivated is really simple but it's just to watch your diet nothing can suck the energy out of you like a big meal can. So one thing that my husband and I do is when we first got married, we said that, you know, instead of doing a nightly dinner, we're going to go for a walk because we realized that dinner every night, it tastes good, felt good when it went down, but then it just, it made us tired for the rest of the day. That's also one thing that I watch like while I'm at work, I'm always trying to make sure that I'm eating a lot of vegetables, some fruits to make sure that I'm not bogging myself down, you know, food, if you're drinking too much alcohol, of course, everything in moderation is okay, but you know, you have to watch these things because they do have an effect on you. So, all right, guys, I hope you like these motivating tips for Motivation Monday and stay positive and stay driven because the dreams you have in your heart can and will become your reality. I love you so much and I will see you next Monday. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before 
for your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.